Rajat Singh and Ashwin Bhatt Hi. and uh, we are here at the Jawan Pavilion uh, and uh, I am with uh, Mr. Vipul Gupta, Dr. Vipul Gupta uh, who is the uh, distinguished engineer, engineer at Sun Labs and he is also a member of the transport team and he will be talking about uh, a web based uh, sensor network called Sensor Network at Sun Labs. Uh, so, would you like to tell us uh, what it is? Yeah, so Sensor.network is a web based service where we are collecting sensor information from different kinds of sensors. And the idea is that the internet is no longer just a, a network of computers, but there's all kinds of devices connected to the internet, including lots of sensors. And there's lots of interesting amount of uh, data that's coming in from these sensors, which could be used to solve many different kinds of problems. But with current state of the art, it's very difficult to share information from these sensors. So this is uh, our way of addressing that concern. And as you can see, the, this web-based service supports the notion of multiple users and multiple installations. So here I'm logged in as user demo. And user demo has a bunch of installations. So we'll look at some of these installations. So here's actually an installation called SpotNet, which is a collection of about 10 different nodes at MPK16, which is the home of Sun Labs. So when you click on one of these buttons, you can look at different views of the installation. So here's a dashboard view of the SpotNet installation, which tells us, gives us an overview of the general health of the network. So you can look at where different, some of these nodes are installed. Here's a picture of one of the nodes. You can see that it's been sending data quite consistently. This spot is externally powered, so it's not sleeping a lot. It's primarily active. There's no deep sleep. There's other views also. So here's a map view where you can actually see a mashup of the, of the spots in a map. And you can also look at the health information again, or you can look at the plots. As I mentioned, this web service is agnostic to the particular kind of sensors you have. So at, here at Java 1, we also have some sensors that measure power consumption. And here I'll show you one of them. So there's two of those sensors over there, Etherwatt A and Etherwatt B. Let's look at what's happening at Etherwatt A. But let me first describe what the sensor looks like. So it has power coming in on one side and power going out. And over the Ethernet cable, it can report what the energy consumption is on the devices attached to the output power. Let's look at the map view here. So you said that these sensors are actually deployed at Java 1 right here? Yeah, exactly. So, so uh, as you can see, these can are we just the have a look at that? So this one is Etherwatt A, and this one has the lamp hooked up to it. The second one is Etherwatt B, and it has one of the sun servers hooked up to it. Okay. So That's we'll go back cool. and see the energy consumption. Okay. So we bring one of these up and we can look at the plots. So we can look at the active power consumption. So you can see the power consumption has been changing. We got the Etherwatt working early Saturday morning. This is when a, a Mac laptop was attached to it. And then when I went to bed, the, you can see that the energy consumption is lower. And then one of the lamp, one of the lamps that was attached to the, to the circuit was turned on and you can see it consumes about 60 watt extra. Around so this is real time information. Yeah, this is real time information. The sensor is sending information once every 10 minutes. So you can see the most recent reading is at 6:19, which is about uh, I guess right now it's 6:25. So it's sending information every 10 minutes. So this is about six minutes old. And, uh, you can see what the energy consumption is. So this is around the time when we moved the Etherwatt from a home from my home to the Java One floor. Uh, you can see this more clearly in the plot for temperature. So the temperature at Java 1 was about 4 degrees lower than the temperature in my home until we turned on the lamp. That's when the temperature started to rise again. So is this the, the surrounding temperature or is it the temperature through the wire? This is the temperature as measured by the circuitry on the board. All right. So this is the other Etherwatt. This is the one that's attached to the Sun server. So you can see the power consumption is fairly consistent around 20 watts. And then for a while we, we had the server turned off, so the power consumption went down, and now it's back up again. So, so this is a web service that you can have the information coming in from different kinds of sensors. And people who are supplying the information, they have very fine-grained control over who gets to see the information and what they do with it. So that's one of the key features about Sensor.network. Thanks a lot, Vipul, for uh, describing the project for us. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and. Uh, if you want uh, to see more such videos, then you can go to java.sun.com. Thanks for watching.